Hey, this is Rahul and I've got some great news to share with you. We just crossed 4,000 subscribers a couple of weekends ago and now we are at 4,300 subscribers and I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. So I think I'll be doing giving away this glove. It's not going to be with this video. I'm thinking of making a big review or something and attach a giveaway with that. Or maybe I'll do the giveaway as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. We are at 4,300 right now. So if you're not subscribed to me, maybe you can hit the subscribe button and get subscribed and you will be soon notified about this giveaway and contest. I'll be giving away my Cramster TRG2 full sport gauntlet, not my glove, a new pair. Anyways, so we are here to do this gloves review. I got this sport gauntlet glove to go to the BIC track day. If you want to see the track day video, you can click on the links on screen and it will take you to the track day videos. Anyways. This glove was bought just before the track day, so while I went into the track, it was not fully broken in. I wanted a glove which would go directly from the shelf to the track, which means I wanted a perfect fit and soft leather which would break in very easily and it did not do me any harm in the track. It broke in perfectly well in just one or two rides before I got, before I hit the track, I mean. And in the track, in the first few laps, obviously there was something about this club being new, but it broke in pretty well. And it bro and after that, I, I completely forgot that I was wearing a new pair of gloves on track. Crabster TRG2 Sport Gauntlet now has been a available for a long time. They have made changes to the design from initially. They have made new incorporations. The gloves are better designed. This is probably a third or fourth generation design. I'm not sure. Available in a handful of colors. This is a new color scheme. Black, white, red goes well with my Dionysi suit. So I got this color. They have got something for you Kawasaki fans as well. That's the neon green with white and gray. That's a nice option. And there was always this gray, white, black option, which was their base color which I don't find very attractive but this one looks absolutely stunning especially if you are taking out on track or maybe even in the highway so this is basically a sport gauntlet I would not call it a full full on race gauntlet I'll tell you why but this is being used by a lot of professional racers in India because this is pretty affordable and a lot of people like this you can crash on it you can buy another pair it just doesn't burn your pocket that much that's one fact of this glove the prices are right now on screen it's around 2600 very affordable glove and I'm really amazed at the quality and the level of features they've got on it first of all it's a full grain cowhide um, the first thing which I like about the glove is that the internal side the palm the leather is very thin and there's a lot of feedback to this glove which means that I can feel the controls of the bike and the feedback which comes through the handlebars it's pretty good so those are the positive things because I'm very much affected by gloves which are very thick and I don't feel the handlebars that well it's a thin leather palm thin leather on the palms which means a lot of feedback but it uh, gets dual reinforced stitching on the on the pinky if you put your hand down this way it will uh, protect the outside of your hand that's really a nice touch there is also a carbon fiber panel on the pinky for your high side crashes when you put the outside of the hand so dually reinforced there also on the palm it's dually reinforced plus scaphoid protection an extra layer of uh, hard foam on the palm so if you put your hands down this way your scaphoid this part of the hand actually has a lot of bones which tend to break a lot so this protection part is there it's uh, very basic but for a basic level entry level glove I really like this part if you're looking at this part this is just for that you can wear the gloves very easily you can pull pull on them and uh, it's it's better for the rest of the leather that you don't pull by that so the, the this actually increases your uh, life of the gloves because you're not pulling on the rest of the leathers you're not putting the stress on the stitching part you're just pulling it by this also makes it a little bit easier to wear anyways uh rest of the palm is basic simple cowhide i don't find any hard parts in it again on this part below the index finger it's um dual reinforced now coming to the back of the hand 
this is where it looks really aggressive and beautiful on a sport glove but what I really want to stress on are these accordion sort of panels stretch panels this is very important for me I love this and gloves I have found it in some Alpine Stars gloves these actually make you finger movements pretty decent you know you can move your fingers very safely and without any stress on your fingers or on your knuckles so this really reduces the stress on your fingers especially when using using the clutch if you are wearing this within city or highway if you're using too much clutch your fingers movement are absolutely free this is a very important part for any glove that I wear because I tend to have uh, pain in the hands if the fingers are not moving very freely in this case it moves very freely specifically these movements are extremely good I think you got that point anyways uh, dual carbon fiber panels on all the fingers except for the pinky which has only the outside protection and, and a dual layer of leather so this is also a dual layer of leather by the way on top of it there's carbon fiber protection so your fingers main three fingers are very well protected your thumb also gets the same dual sort of protection this thing again I'm showing you the stretch it's really a lot of stretch hand movement is really really very comfortable all through the glove and it just doesn't restrict you the main carbon fiber panel sits on its own panel so that way it doesn't restrict your hand movement again this is uh, just a page out of the alpine stars book alpine stars love loves to do do this and uh, we find this on a lot of alpine stars gloves so whoever has designed this glove has studied good quality gloves and then incorporated some of the high level features uh, in this glove and at the price point i just can't believe it so below this uh, layer of uh, carbon fiber there is a layer of leather below which there is foam um, this is soft foam below which there is another layer of leather below which is your hand so one two three four layers of protection on the main side of the arm where you tend to get the most damage in the crash it's very well protected and your hand really goes in and fits with the glove because it's an aggressive pre-curve this is not a touring glove because obviously though the back of the hand is hugely protected the palm of the hand has got le lesser protection and it goes more with the feedback which is what I like in a glove and um, I wouldn't really call this a touring glove but obviously it's very comfortable you can tour in it it's lightweight so that's one thing but it's not waterproof it's leather glove so uh, and the inner side as I said that some gloves offer more protection by Kevlar reinforcement on the pump obviously they lose the feedback I want the feedback while I'm riding on track or doing aggressive sport riding so I went with this instead of the GSG carbon which I've reviewed which I find is an excellent touring glove but when I go for budget track glove I would go for this the Cramster TRG2 and it's very uh, popular in South India anyways another thing uh, continuing on with the review the back of the arm gets a sort of stretchy stitched area which is more inclined to give you a better fit below which there is a wrist adjuster now this is really a nice touch in an entry level glove a wrist adjuster not all gloves have it I find it very nice for people with thin wrists like me so that's nice bit of touch they have really thought about a lot of things before designing this glove and uh, Cranster branding very subtle I probably would have liked a little bit more branding because it's not visible anywhere only that small part a small TPU Cranster branding is there everything else it just looks like a normal thing but the quality the fit and finish everything is top notch obviously if you look into the nuances there are a certain bit of finishing uh, unevenness and roughness here and there but that's okay for a glove of this range I wasn't expecting too much um, so going into the cuff closure it's a dual cuff closure and uh, great thing about it is it, it really uh, I, I like it wearing it over my jacket and suit and not under the jacket and suit and which is good because it's a bigger 
gauntlet dual cuff closure so you can actually uh, adjust it very closely and it really integrates very well with the jacket when worn over the suit or over the jacket it integrates uh, pretty fine now for protection wise the gauntlet side the inner side as a hard uh, part it's it's not exactly a hard part you can call it a sort of a hard foam part uh, that's on the inside if you're putting it uh, like this your inside foam will protect you on the outside if there is a hard part which is pretty much structured and it's it's really nice part if you're putting it your hand down the opposite way that will be there to protect you now there's a very interesting piece of accordion panel here I was not initially sure that what this one was for but later I realized that if you want a really nice integration with the suit or with the jacket then this part actually allows you to stretch this velcro and make it a tight fit and then the accordion panel will stretch out a little bit and make the integration complete which means if you are wearing a jacket underneath you have it completely tight then this part will stretch up a bit and it will be it will not affect you you will not feel that uh, the glove is biting into your suit or making it too uncomfortable but this elasticated area uh, will keep a complete fit and you will feel that as if the suit extends to the glove it completely integrates with it it's a very nice touch it's, that's I've never seen it and I really like that part of the design so for 2600 rupees I'd buy it again really I, I'm looking for getting a hardcore sport riding gauntlet like Dionysi Druids or something like that but till I get those till I can afford those I think these are going to be fine and uh, maybe I'll keep these and if Cramster India is listening then I want one pair to be made in white so I've also seen this in um, KTM Orange it's limited edition it's not always available on sale so if you are KTM aficionado do collect them in KTM Orange contact Cramster India I think they'll be able to help you so KTM Orange is a limited color plus there are three colorways like I told you that's it that's it for now this this glove I think I'll be giving away one pair in a contest so do subscribe and when we hit 5000 subscriber or when we review a big bike next time I'm gonna attach that uh, giveaway contest with it uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you very very soon this is Rahul bye